Okay, guys, <clears throat> here I am. Once again, I told you I was going to keep that cabinet just out of the corner a little bit so my countertop would have a little bit of a little place to overhang, which I don't know if you can see, but the countertop's probably going to overhang this inside a little bit, which is going right into this corner. So I'm going to add my little half inch filler on here, just like we did last time in the last bathroom. Flush that thing up. I ripped it down on a table saw, exactly a half inch. I'm going to flush it up with the top. <laughs> little tiny tiny bit of glue on it, little tiny 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 nail right there. It's my little micro brads, I love these things. And put a few nails in. Can't even see those little nails in there now, can you? Now, my holes are drilled. My filler is in. So you can see, once again, there's the filler. If you look down on it, that's the filler that I just added on there. So you can see, we got an extra half inch off of, the, of our cabinet face framing right there, and I added a half inch to keep me away from the wall. My holes are drilled in the back right there. Now, let's see. What kind of a job I can do setting this thing while well, you guys, I don't know, watch, I guess. But, always grab my little corner angles in the uh, cabinet here so you can lift and slide. Oh, one more thing. I gotta shim this back corner up. Remember, this is my high corner right here. It should be right up to the line. I need to shim that thing about 3 16 7 inch because that's about how low it was in that corner. Well, I already set my shim on the ground all the way in the back. Right where the bottom of the cabinet's going to be. So as I slide it in there and set it down, it should be right up to the line. This should be our moment of truth when we set this thing in to find out. Oh, looks like we're lining up so far. Tight against the wall over there. Tight against the wall. Right up to my line. If you guys come and take a look here. Boom. We are all set. We line up with our holes. We're right up to the line in the back there, about a half inch away from the wall. I pull that cabinet over. We should be all good with my filler right there for the top to sit on us. And we still have room for a toilet on this side. So anyway, you guys have seen and done enough screwing this to the wall with me. Now, remember there's a top going on here that's going to be an inch and a half thick off the top of the, uh, top of the countertop right here. It'll be an inch and a half thick. And then usually you have a backsplash, which is around four inches. So you figure you're probably adding four and a half, five inches to the top of this in the back here. So I'm going to go and find my layout just with a nail like we always did right along here. But as long as I keep it right above the cabinet, as soon as I install the countertop, you'll never be seen again. So I'll give you a picture when it's, uh, when it's all said and done here. Oh, one more thing. Remember how I put this half inch in right here, okay? So we have a little bit of a gap between here. Now, there's a drawer on this cabinet. Remember, there's a door going in right here also. The door casing is going to come out about 5 eighths of an inch this way. Look at my drawer. I now have enough room for my drawer to clear what would be the door casing right here. If I had stuck that thing flat against the wall, this drawer never would have opened. I never would have got it back in there once I had the door casing on there. And it never would have opened. So you have to think, think ahead a little bit when you're doing these kind of things just to make sure that everything's going to open and close. We don't want door handles and cabinets and things in the way, or uh, door handles and drawer faces in the way, hitting door casings and things like that. So that's another reason why we bring it out away from the wall just a little bit. But when I push that thing over, boom, it'll be nice and tight. Um, let me get her all screwed in and show you what she looks like.